What's going on guys? Welcome to Budget RC. Today I have my team associated T3 Stadium truck. This is a truck that I bought to restore and then resell. And like a lot of these that you buy, it didn't have this battery hold down on it. They're hard to find and when you do find them, they're really expensive. So I decided to make my own. This is the part that we're gonna be making and we're gonna be making it out of Kydex. This is a material that I'm really pretty fond of and I've used quite a bit in the past. It's pretty easy to work with and it's really inexpensive. So now I'll give you a quick rundown on what we're gonna do and then we'll get started. Kydex is a material that's generally pretty easy to work with. It's pretty durable, pretty firm, but with a little bit of heat, you can form it and bend it into any shape that you want. That's what I did here. You can see I bent up this tab in the back, which is what latches it to the shock tower. And I also bent up the sides a little bit just for that extra rigidity. Drilled a hole in the front of it so that it could clamp down right over the screw mount. In order to work with Kydex, you will need a few tools. You'll need something to cut out the piece. I use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel. You'll need something to clamp the part into and you'll need a heat gun to be able to get it warm enough to be able to bend it over. Bend over making me to Additionally, you will need a drill to be able to drill your hole in it. Other than that, everything that you'll need is just real basic stuff. So now I'll take you through step by step on how to make this. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and measure this. If I measure from this shock tower right to that screw stud, I get just a little under seven inches. That's what she said. Now I wanna add about a half an inch so that I can have extra material to go around the shock tower at the back. And then another half an inch so that we have material past the screw hole. That'll give us a piece about eight inches long. Now in terms of the width, you could make the whole piece just three eighths of an inch long. That'll fit into the back of the shock tower. It'll have enough material around the screw and all you have to do is make that one simple bend and you're done. In my case, I know that I wanna have it wider. So I'm gonna use the width of this ruler as my guide. That'll leave enough on the edges for me to bend those wings up. Next step is just to go ahead and transfer it to our cardboard. We can make it eight inches long make it the width of this ruler and get it cut out. Once our piece is cut out, we can notch it in the back. And if you look, you can see it'll slide right into that shock tower the way we want. And I've already marked it here in the spot where I'm gonna wanna have it bend up. And it'll go in just like that. Now for the wings, we can just use our ruler Bend those wings up. There's one. There's two. And now we basically have a working template of the piece that I'm gonna make. Once we have that, we can transfer this to the Kydex and get started. And that's gonna be our next step. So now you can see that I have the rough shape cut out and I have it taped to this piece of wood. I've got this piece back just a little bit because I want my bend to be away from this spot here. So now we're gonna take our second block of wood that we're gonna bend over. We can fix this into the vise and start applying our heat. Take your time and make sure that this is lined up properly because this is the axis that it's gonna bend on. So now we can start applying our heat. So that's good and warm. Now we're gonna use this to bring it over and we're just gonna hold for a minute until that cools. And there we go. Pull this out. Now you can see we have a nicely bent piece. Now what we're gonna do is go fit it into the car and trim it to where we need it. You can see that that's already nice and strong too. So now you can see that we have this piece here trimmed back and I've also cut a little bit of a chamfer into this section. And I did that because I wanna have some clearance. Once these wings are bent forward, I want to make sure that there's clearance to be able to still fit this where it goes in the vehicle. I may need to trim it more once it's done, but this is a good starting point. So now I've got some longer wood that I'm going to clamp this in and we're going to repeat the same procedure to bend these two wings up.
So you can see it's not real pretty, but it's bent over. So now I've got it flipped over so we can do the other side. And because I needed a smaller piece to fit within the bend that's already there, I had to swap from my block of wood to this aluminum channel. Now generally I don't like using aluminum when I'm doing this sort of work because the aluminum is going to suck the heat out of the kydex. It's just going to make it that much harder to heat it up. Especially right now it's about 40 degrees in my garage. But we'll give it a try and see how it works. All right, so right now it's looking a little bit rough. We've got a little bit of cleanup to do. I want to get this end a little bit better. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. You know, it's not going to win me any awards for uh, excellent cosmetic work, but from a structural standpoint, this is strong, which is exactly what I wanted. So now we have this, which looks quite a bit more even. So now we can take this back to the sander, sand it down, put our hole in it, trim the end, and it uh, should be done. So here is our final piece. You can see it's bent up on the end. We've got our wings on the side, and we have our hole here. It fits perfectly in the truck, and should make a great sturdy battery hold down, and it's nice and strong. So there wasn't really a whole lot to this. It was pretty straightforward, but overall, I think this will help you get an idea for just what sort of parts you can make from a material like Kydex. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. This piece wasn't super simple, but it also wasn't real complicated. As long as you have the proper tools to be able to heat and bend this material, this is really something anybody can do. And if you're gonna plan on making parts for your RC cars, I think it's definitely worth learning how to do. I'm hoping to bring some more DIY videos as I finish up this vehicle. I have one more part to make out of Kydex to replace this broken bumper, and then I have the body to do. Guys, if you thought this video was helpful, make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss the next one. If you've made some custom parts, go ahead and let me know about them in the comments. And stick around for my future videos as well. I'm going to give this vehicle a custom painted body, and I'm going to show you how to do it just using spray cans. So make sure you stick around for that one. Thanks, guys.